Uh, good morning. It's uh, Monday, August 15th. Uh, we want to talk today about uh, the bid by Cook Aquaculture to buy Clearwater Seafoods in Canada. Uh, this is being opposed uh, by Clearwater's uh, primary owners, uh, John Risley and Colin McDonald. In fact, on Friday, uh, there was unusual activity in the Clearwater Income Fund trust units, and Cook accused uh, the current owners of trying to buy up uh, units to increase their stake above 50 percent. Uh, currently, uh, uh, McDonald and, and uh, Risley uh, own 48 uh, percent plus of um, uh, Clearwater Seafoods. Uh, the fact that an aquaculture company is trying to buy Clearwater is kind of interesting because I'm not aware of uh, uh, acquisitions where a uh, major aquaculture company has taken over a company uh, that has been exclusively focused on wild seafood. Uh, Clearwater's strength is in shellfish, uh, especially lobster, uh, crab, shrimp, uh, and clams, uh, and they uh, deal with the fluctuations and, and, and the vagaries of a wild fishery. They also have a company-owned fleet, by and large. Uh, Cook, on the other hand, has been uh, producing salmon uh, for many years, and is one of the fastest uh, growing seafood companies in Atlantic Canada. Uh, obviously, Cook would like to uh, uh, expand into other areas. Uh, however, uh, given uh, the history of uh, Risley and, and McDonald and others in Canadian seafood companies, with Risley being the former, former owner of FPI at one time, uh, I think it's highly unlikely that a uh, bid by Cook uh, would succeed unless the price goes significantly higher. Uh, in our story today, we point out that uh, Clearwater Income Trust Fund shares uh, started out selling at about $10, and uh, in the latest trading, they're about uh, $2. Uh, the Clearwater bid has only been about a 30% premium, uh, and uh, clearly, uh, Risley and McDonald feel that that far undervalues the company. Uh, Clearwater is making strides in recovering from some of its financial problems, uh, which came about after the 2008 financial crash. Uh, and I expect that we'll see this uh, battle maybe for uh, control of Clearwater uh, go on for some time, uh, particularly after Clearwater becomes a fully trading public company uh, uh, by the end of this year. In Lexington, Mass., uh, this is John Sackton.